well, this kind of topic is important and the Learning Club is a great platform. So in today's conversation, I want to speak to you about a massive personal loan from Learning Club. $40,000 maximum limit, fair credit, great credit, bad credit, good credit, all kinds of credit profiles are welcome. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. If you are to ask me, if you are doing as splendid, as blessed as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's convo, I want to speak to you about a huge personal loan from Lending Club. Maximum loan amount $40,000. Before we get into the actual nitty gritty, please understand that this video is purely instructional, purely educational. We have no association, no relationship with Lending Club. They're not paying us for, for this video. We're just doing it because we want to share content with our viewers, okay? So let's talk about the loan facts here. So this loan, so when we talk about Lending Club, you have a constellation of several loans, okay? You have various loans. You have unsecured loans, secure loans, co sign loans, debt consolidation loans, credit card consolidation loans, home improvement loans, okay? The maximum amount, as I said earlier, $40,000. The APR will oscillate between 4.69% and 29.99%. The fees, they have a hefty 5% origination fee. This is kind of high end, and this is something we have spoken about in other shows. Uh, Lending Club needs to reduce that, but this is beside the point. The term, the loan term, up to 60 months, the time to funding, 24 to 48 hours, and there are no extra conditions. And when you think about Lending Club, you got to think about a trifecta, three important things. First, you apply. You apply within minutes. You get customized loan options based on what you tell the platform. Then you have to pick a loan offer. So you select the, the rate, term, and payment options you like best. And the third step is you get funded. So once your loan is funded, they will send you the money straight to your bank account or pay your creditors directly. So you can use the funds for credit card consolidation, balance transfers, personal loans, um, massive uh, expenditures, debt consolidation loans, home improvement loans, you decide. And uh, from Lending Club's website, what we've seen is that they said themselves that uh, on average, personal loans from Lending Club Bank are offered at an APR of 15.95% with uh, an origination fee of 5% and a principal amount of $15,800 for, loan with, for loans with term lengths of 36 months based on credit criteria and analysis of historical borrower from um, no, uh, January 1st, 2021 to April 1st, 2021. So this is the kind of, uh, but this kind of gives you an idea of what we're talking about here. So APR about 16%, 5% origination fee and pres uh, principal loan amount of uh, $16,000 and the term three years, that's the average. Let me quickly talk to you now about the lender. So who is Lending Club? And folks, in this show, I am talking to you about a superb personal loan from Lending Club. Maximum loan amount, $40,000. All kinds of credit profiles are welcome. So let's talk about Lending Club. So Lending Club's personal loans are a fit for fair, bad, and good credit borrowers, those who are looking to consolidate debt or finance large purchases, right? Maximum loan amount, $40,000. And uh, the thing you have to understand here is that Lending Club is not the cheapest in the market, but they're, they're more one of the, the quickest. In other words, they will fund your, your loan real fast, okay? So Lending Club is great for borrowers who have poor or fair credit. So we're talking here about FICO or 500 to all the way to uh, 689. Borrowers who want to uh, build credit or manage a budget, who want to consolidate debt and qualify for a rate that lowers their interest cost, okay? And so when we think about Lending Club, based on our analysis, we love the fact that they are affordable. We love the transparency in the loan process. We love, we love the loan flexibility and we love the customer experience. Great customer experience. They have a fully online application and loan approval process. 
They offer a member center to help borrowers manage their money and credit. And uh, they don't offer um, a mobile app to manage the loan, but they're working on it. So when we think about Lending Club, the pros and cons, pros, they offer joint loan options. They offer direct payments to creditors with uh, debt consolidation loans. They have soft credit check with pre-qualification, and they have the option to charge the payment date. So you can change the payment date, not charge, change. In terms of uh, drawbacks, so borrowers can choose from two repayment term options only. They charge a 5% origination fee. I already spoke about that. This is very high. And borrowers cannot use the loan to refinance another personal loan. Okay? Something you need to think about. So, um, and one thing I want to say, this is very important, folks. In July 2021, Lending Club agreed to pay $18 million to settle a lawsuit after the Federal Trade Commission alleged that the company did not disclose the, to loan applicants upfront the hidden fees it charged. So the FTC also alleged Lending Club told consumers they had been approved when they hadn't and took money from consumers' bank account without approval. So in response, Lending Club removed the no hidden fees statement from uh, marketing materials and updated its loan options page to include origination fees and the total loan amount that consumers receive. Okay, I just want to disclose that. So everything is not rosy when you think about Lending Club. Now, they do have good stuff going on for, for them. But they also have been, uh, you know, they have messed up in the past. I think that they started actually clean up their, their act now, and uh, we'll see how those things uh, develop. And uh, so after evaluating uh, Lending Club on uh, tens of criteria, including loan variety, loan amount, generosity, cost of reputation, and customer service, we assigned the company a score of 9 over 10. And uh, so you can see on Trustpilot, they had about uh, 4.8 over 5 from uh, 2,068 reviews. On consumer affairs, they had uh, 3.9 over 5, and from uh, nearly 600 reviews. And on its own website, LendingClub.com, they they had 4.83 over 5. But this should be taken with a grain of salt, right? Because it is Lending Club publishing its own reviews on its own website. So, you know. I want to talk to you now about eligibility criteria, folks. In today's conversation, I am talking to you about what? I'm talking to you about a superb, massive personal loan from Lending Club, maximum loan amount $40,000, all kinds of credit profiles are welcome. If you have bad credit, you have fair credit, you have good credit, and if you're lucky to have stellar credit, you can still qualify. So to qualify for a personal loan from Lending Club, you must be a U.S. citizen, okay, or a green card holder. You got to be uh, at least uh, 18 years of age, and you need to have a verifiable bank account. And one thing you need to understand here is that um, people are, uh, and uh, Lending Club just mentioned that, they actually accept applications from all states in the union except Iowa and the U.S. territories, okay? And your loan application will be evaluated based on several factors, including the information provided by you and the credit bureaus. They will also look at your credit score and your ability to repay. This is one of the most important thing here, the ability to repay. So. Uh, I know in the past people talk about, well, with the lending club or other lenders, you need to have a job. Yeah, having a job is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. But what matters the most and what's uh, quintessential for a lender such as lending club or any other lender for that matter is your your ability to repay. Do you have enough cash coming in every month? Do, do you have, uh, are you uh, heir to some kind of fortune? Do you have uh, some kind of windfall? Do you have a bonus? Do you have uh, any, do you have passive income? Whatever it is, if, if you're not working, but you have cash coming in, They'll, they'll take you, okay? One thing you need to understand here is that for the lowest rates, it helps if you have a higher than average credit score. So even though they accept the folks who have a, a FICO score of, a, let's say, 375 or 400, you might not qualify for the full amount of $40,000. You might probably get $10,000, and you might, you might get a high APR. Again, this comes with the territory. There's nothing you can do about it, right? If you also have a low debt-to-income ratio, it kind of helps. So, for example, debt-to-income ratio is uh, the amount of debt you have over the income you're pulling in every month. So, for instance, if you're making, let's say, uh, I'll be generous here, you're making $10,000 a month and uh, you you have uh, 5000 or 6000 of debt payment, your debt-to-income ratio will be 60% in case you, you make uh, 6000 in, in debt payment, okay? And uh, normally, experts want you to be around 40 or 50%. Because people who are very conservative want you to, to even have a one-third, so 30% of a debt-to-income ratio. 
Let's talk about the use of loan proceeds, folks. In this show, again, I am talking to you about a large personal loan from Lending Club. We have a maximum loan amount, $40,000. We have uh, all kinds of credit profiles that are welcome. They will accept you, no problem, no personal guarantee. This is an unsecure loan. And so let's talk about the use of loan proceeds. Now, you can use a personal loan for, from Lending Club for almost any purpose with a few exceptions. As I said earlier, you can't take you can't take out a loan from Lending Club to repay another loan. They, they'll do debt consolidation. They'll pay off your credit cards and all that kind of stuff, but not take out a loan to repay another loan. Unless you take out a loan yourself, you don't tell them up front, and you take the loan proceeds to repay the loan, you know, quietly without Lending Club knowing about it. Lending Club members often use uh, personal loans to pay off credit cards at a lower rate. They can use the funds to consolidate debt or take care of unexpected home repairs and medical bills. So let's say if you, you know, stuff happened, right? If stuff happens, you, you got an accident at work or at home and you can't afford, you can't, can't afford the medical treatment. You can use the Lending Club uh, loan for that. Or let's say you have, uh, you have a huge emergency expenditure, expense, something coming up in the house or stuff just happens, right? Maybe a wedding or maybe a travel, you know, a very important trip, whatever it is, you can take out a loan from a lending club to sort of satisfy that desire. So a few ways a personal loan from lending club bank cannot be used include anything related to education after high school, making investments such as securities or crypto or illegal stuff. So you can not get a, a loan from a lending club, again, unless you don't tell them beforehand. But if you tell them they're not going to approve you, if you tell them that you are going to get the cash to buy crypto, Bitcoin or whatever, they're not going to accept you. Or if you want to buy maybe a you know, Tesla uh, stock because the stock is going up and you just want to try to make a, a quick buck. No, if they find out, they will they will not appreciate it. And you might actually have you might get in trouble. So this is important. And um, what I want to say is that if you have the, the right list of uh, users of loan proceeds, the whole thing, the whole approval process will be very fast. In other words, you can be approved within 24 hours. Think about that. You're getting your cash within 24 hours. This is fantastic. Otherwise, they might ask you for additional information, and this might um, delay the whole application by a day or two, or in some cases, even one week. I'll be right back right after this thing. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Street Kiwi Show. We're also having a conversation about a very massive personal loan from Lending Club. Maximum loan amount, $40,000. If you have bad credit, if you have fair credit, if you have good credit, if you have excellent credit, you can qualify also. Everybody is welcome. Let's talk about the evidence needed, the kind of evidential matter you should provide to Lending Club to get approved for this loan. First of all, there are a few things that Lending Club wants to see on, uh, on the application form. A few questions they will ask you on the application form. They will ask you why you are applying for the loan, right? This is the the uh, the use of loan proceeds question. How would the loan proceeds be used? Of course, what assets need to be purchased, if any, car, home, boat? What other personal debt do you have and who are your creditors? This is in case you want to consolidate your your loan. Your, your If you have uh, several loans you want to consolidate or you want to consolidate your credit card, your credit card debt, and another thing that the Lending Club is really interested in on the application, and they will ask you on the application, they will ask you whether or not this is a joint loan application. In other words, are you co-borrowing or co-signing this application? And they might want to have a little bit of uh, information about your background, your personal background. So things like uh, your job, how long you have been working at that company, how much you're making. And, they, and they, of course, you need to back up that info with uh, pay stubs, with uh, 1099s, with W-2s, and they will ask for, in some cases, if the amount is kind of high, if you're looking for $35,000 or $40,000, they might ask you for uh, your tax returns. So your 1040, your, uh, 10, uh, your 1040, yeah. And, and especially they want to look at your Schedule C, if you have a side gig that you want to claim as a source of uh, passive income on the application. They might also want to see your uh, your 1120 or 1065 if you have if you let's say um you have a business on the side okay they might also want to see your personal financial statements 
importantly, your balance sheet, your income statements, and your statement of cash flows. And uh, they might also want you to attach, want you to attach three months of uh, bank statements to your application. Let's talk about how to apply, folks. How do you apply for this uh, huge personal loan from Lending Club? We are speaking about a loan amount of uh, $40,000 maximum limit, low credit, fair credit, good credit, all kinds of credit profiles are welcome. So you can actually apply through Lending Club only online. There is no branch to go to, even though the bank, the Lending Club has acquired a, a bank uh, recently and they're trying to uh, change to, to shift their business model to become a full size bank, you know. But right now, if you want to get a loan from them, you can only do it through the website. So you need you just need to choose your offer. If your loan request is approved, you'll be able to review the loan amounts, interest rate, APR, monthly payments, and loan term. That's the that's what we like about Lending Club. It's the soft pool part of things. You need to confirm your information, and then you get funded. So let's quickly go through the application. So you can you can see on the screen here. First, they will ask you who is applying. So in this case, we chose only one person. So this is not a a joint application this is a single application and they'll ask you for your date of birth just put in your date of birth and you click next and they'll ask you how much uh, money how much uh, income you make a year you put you put in there and if you have other sources of income you want to check the box below the uh, the total individual income box and then you click next and then they're asking you the loan amount so you the, how much you need you put you put in there and you got to specify the loan purpose right so in this case we put major purchase and click next and then here they want to have more info about you so you have to put your name your first name and last name click next and then they want you to to indicate your home address so your your street address your city your state and your zip code and click next and then you have to put your phone number here so this is a, you can choose mobile landline it doesn't matter it's totally up to you and click next and then they want to have your email so you put your email address and you have to check the box that uh, says that uh, where you you know you say that everything you put here is accurate that you have read also uh, several kinds of uh, disclosures and you put next and then here they're telling you you're almost there so you have to put in your email and password so that once you're approved, you have an account with them. And then you click get your rates. And here, in some cases, if they need more information, they'll ask you to input your social. And then you click uh, get your rates. And the algorithm will look for the rates for you for a few seconds. And then the next slide, they will tell you, unfortunately, your application was not approved. Normally, you should be approved. In this case, we just inputted fictitious data. That's why uh, the system didn't recognize us. Otherwise, uh, you should have a, a series of loan loan offers. Okay, but it's kind of good to to see what you might get if you get uh, uh, rejected. Okay, the next slide here is that they will give you the letter that you will receive if you your application was denied. So you can see the letter on the screen. The adverse action notice. All right, let's just talk about, let me give you a few pro tips on how to get approved, like how to really get approved for this uh, massive, humongous personal loan from Lending Club. Maximum loan amount, $40,000. And uh, the minimum is $1,000. And all kinds of credit profiles are welcome. So if you want to get approved fast, one thing you want to do is you want to keep your document, your, your documents in order. Okay, your paperwork is very important. And, and what I mean by paperwork is, I mean the constellation of documents that go from uh, your tax returns to your pay stubs to your 1099s. You also want to have your bank statements and also you can have your financial statements. And listen, I'm not asking you folks, I'm not asking you to be a, to have a PhD in accounting to do your own financial statements. No. As a matter of fact, nowadays there are so many uh, free apps and uh, software tools out there, including Zero, Wave, Expensify, and QuickBooks. That you can use any of them to actually uh, prepare your own financial statements and it shouldn't be that complicated i mean when we speak about financial statements we're talking about balance sheets so you have your assets in one in one column and your liabilities in your other column and then you subtract your liabilities from your assets to have uh, to get your uh, net worth 
and uh, you do the same thing you do something similar for your income statements so you put in one column your uh, income and in the other column your expenses and then you subtract your expenses from your income to get your uh, your disposable income hopefully it will should be a positive number if you run your your if you have a budget and you are pretty disciplined and the third financial statement is your financial is your statement financial uh, statement of uh, cash flows and this also again is pretty straightforward so you want to keep your documents in order you want to maintain good credit okay this loan welcomes all kind of credit profiles but when you get a chance when you get when you have an opportunity you want to constantly work on your credit right you want to pay off your uh, your your uh, credit card balances every month you want to be uh, you want to be uh, up to date on all your loans all that kind of stuff you don't open uh, too many accounts at the same time you don't you, you avoid multiple inquiries you also want to demonstrate sufficient cash flow cash flow as i was telling you earlier is it's paramount okay you might have a job but if you're not pulling in enough cash to uh, cover your expense you, you know your, your expenses your life costs, your lifestyle costs, then it, it wouldn't really matter. So it's not about having a job. It's about demonstrating sufficient cash flow. Also, you need to understand that Lending Club is uh, is different from other lenders. So if their conditions uh, don't suit you, you can actually look elsewhere. All right, folks, this was it for today's conversation. I was talking to you about a massive personal loan from Lending Club, maximum loan amount $40,000. And minimum loan amount one thousand dollars and i spoke to you i gave you an overview gave you the loan facts the lender at a glance eligibility criteria the use of loan proceeds the evidence needed how to apply and a few pro tips thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it i will speak to you another time but until then remember stay marvelous <laughs>